start. Appreciate you guys coming as normal on Monday. Um, we'll uh, start by just going back through and reviewing the game uh, after we had a chance to watch it. Uh, it's obviously great to get a victory. Uh, it was not a, a pretty victory by any means. It, it was uh, pretty ugly uh, when you watch the film, but uh, victory is a victory. And it, uh, it, just like the week before, it's a lot better to get a victory when um, you don't play well than it is uh, to play very well and lose. So we'll, we'll take it uh, any time. Uh, I think uh, a game like that, though, is a true sign of the character and chemistry uh, and just belief and buy-in that we have uh, from our players. Uh, we would not have won that game uh, a year ago. Um, there's no doubt in my mind. Wouldn't, uh, wouldn't even come close uh, to winning a game uh, uh, like that uh, with the stats the way that they were uh, a year ago. Um, you know, reasons for the win. Uh, there are a few that really stuck out. Uh, it starts with our plan to win that we talk about all the time with our guys. Uh, I thought we played good on defense. We didn't play great. We played good uh, going into the game. Uh, Purdue had a pretty good passing attack. Our focus was uh, to try to limit those yards. Uh, I thought we did a good job of that, um, but we gave up too many rushing yards. Um, they got us on some things that uh, we had not seen before, and uh, they got a lot of offense to defend. They, they do a good job, and uh, we did not tackle well and fit some plays well, uh, and that uh, contributed to the rush yards that uh, we gave up. But I did think we uh, played some outstanding situational football. Um, between third and four, fourth down, they were four out of 19. And any time you can have that, you're going to give yourself a chance to win. They got down in the red zone, uh, only allowed one touchdown in the red zone there uh, at the very end of the game. Holding them to field goals earlier in the game, uh, obviously, was a huge uh, factor in the game. Uh, we won a turnover takeaway battle. Um, uh, if we would have turned the ball over in that game, we would not have won the game. We had uh, zero turnovers first time this year. And we're able to get two huge interceptions, the one by K.J. Gray at the end of the first half, and Damon Hayes made an outstanding play in the second half uh, that gave us uh, the two takeaways. Uh, our special teams w was huge in the game um, Saturday. Uh, the battle of the field position uh, was uh, won uh, because of our coverage units, uh, our ability uh, to go down and, and get three pinums inside of 20 on the kickoff team uh, was outstanding. Uh, the four punts that were uh, uh, down inside the 20-yard uh, line uh, played a big factor in our ability to win that game. And then offensively, you know, the stats uh, aren't what any of us would like, but uh, at the end of the day, our job on offense is to score more points than the opponent, and we did that. And uh, as long as we were able to do that, then that was a success. A lot of things we've got to clean up and get better at, uh, but uh, those are the things that really gave us an opportunity to win the game. Players of the game offensively, Gus Edwards had a good game, obviously the big run early. Defensively, K.J. Gray, I think, had 11 tackles, uh, had a PBU or two, and then he had the big interception. And on special teams, uh, DeCoven Bailey was our special teams player of the game. Um, made uh, some tremendous tackles on both the kickoff uh, coverage unit and on the punt team. So uh, he uh, was our special teams player of the game. Uh, just looking ahead to uh, uh, our next game, Michigan. Um, Going to be a huge challenge. It's a very good football team that we got to get ready to play on the road. Um, well coached, um, they're, they've got uh, tremendous players on both sides of the ball, um, and uh, going to be uh, going to need to have our best effort as uh, we go and try to prepare uh, for their game uh, this Saturday. So with that, I'll go ahead and open up for questions. Chris, just because we haven't gotten to ask you this yet, Friday the Yankee Stadium game was moved back here. Uh, what was your reaction to that? Are there any positives or negatives for your team? Uh, yeah, I haven't had a lot of th uh, time to think about it. I was told about it on Friday. Um, obviously, we're uh, in the middle of uh, uh, game preparation still for Purdue, so I hadn't thought about it a whole lot. A uh, decision that the Yankees and our administration uh, agreed upon that was, uh, you know, at the time, the best uh, decision to make um, from their standpoint. So, you know, uh, I'm really indifferent. Um, you know, disappointed. I was looking forward to playing the game at uh, Yankee Stadium for some of our players and, and their family. But, uh, you know, happy that we got another home game back here. You know, for not only our players, we're going to go look at uh, four games uh, away from our stadium, which was going to be tough. Uh, but it's good for the community here uh, to be back home. But so I'm, I'm indifferent. My thoughts have been just uh, again on a Purdue game and turn the page to the Michigan game. So thought about it just for a few minutes of the pros and cons, and, and that's about it. Chris, we have asked you coming off losses, what's the mood of the team? What's the mood of the team coming off two straight wins? Is it focused? Uh, yeah, I mean, they're, they're excited. They're, they're, they're all the, the things that you would hope the football team would be. Um, they're, they're excited. Uh, they're eager uh, to continue to go out and work and, and keep getting better. Um, I, I would like to think that, that we're focused. You know, uh, the last few weeks of preparation that we've had uh, has been pretty focused to preparation. 
Um, and I think it's overall it's a pretty positive move. You know, I would say, uh, honestly, even after losses, you, you know, on Sundays you come in after a loss, you don't feel really good about yourself. Uh, and that's to be expected when you invest a lot. But overall, our, our attitude has been extremely positive, you know, uh, from our players uh, every week. And they know we're getting better. And that's why anytime you can see improvement, even though you may not get the W, you see improvement, you feel improvement. Uh, they've been hungry and eager to come back and keep getting better. We asked, we asked you after the game about Janarian. Any update? Do you expect? No updates. Yeah, he's he's uh, don't expect any issues with. Him. And then uh, in terms of Blackshear, obviously, it seems like he's having a lot of success in like certain packages or certain play calls. Are you guys doing that with your other true freshman receivers and linebackers? Do you need to do more out of that from those? No, we don't need no. Blackshear's uh, a very talented individual, and uh, our job is to try to get. You know, the players that have the skill set to make plays on Saturday uh, involved, and, and he's one that definitely uh, has a special skill set. I think you guys see that when, you, when he does get the ball in his hands. He's, he's different. Uh, so uh, we have made an effort to try to uh, find ways to get the ball in his hands. And, you know, the good thing and the bad thing is, you know, we have a, a crowded backfield, so we've got to be a little more creative with doing that uh, because every time you get the ball to Blackshear, Gus Edwards or Rob Martin's not getting it. You know, um, that's, uh, that's a good problem to have. but. Uh, Raheem has, uh, again, uh, earned the right uh, to get more touches and uh, have an opportunity to affect the, the outcome of the game on Saturday. So we, we have to continue to make that happen. When, you, when you're recruiting players for special teams, what, what kind of factors are you looking for? Because <coughs> new guys like Anderson, Taylor, Davidovis have all had an impact at improving the unit. Yeah, I mean, those are spe specialists, you know, that uh, you, you got to have really outstanding specialist. Um, you know, you, you got to have a great snapper. Uh, you got to have a holder. Um, Michael Cintron does a great job with the holds. Um, you know, the, the um, Hart and Anderson have done a great job. There's new guys coming in. And, uh, you know, you, there's a lot of things to go into. One, do they have the ability? And two, do they have the mental uh, toughness and discipline to go out and perform in front of a, a crowd on, on television? Uh, a lot of that you don't know, you know, until you actually get a chance to see them do it. Um, we didn't start off great, you know, uh, at those positions. But uh, again, like we've mentioned, um, you know, Hart and Anderson have just continued to gain confidence as the season's gone on and they've had opportunities to get out on the field. And uh, I think both of them, uh, and then Billy Taylor too, as a freshman, we're really nervous about Billy Taylor going out there as a freshman. Um, haven't had one issues with snaps. You know, might not all have been perfect, but he's been pretty darn good. He had, actually had a, a tackle on the punt coverage uh, the other day too. Uh, and anytime you can get a snapper that can snap and run down the field and actually make a tackle, it's been pretty good. Pretty good skill set to have. So. Um, that's where it all starts. Do they have the talent to do what we need them to do, and then do they have the mental uh, makeup uh, to be able to perform out uh, on game day for those limited opportunities? Chris, from what you've seen coaching uh, at Wisconsin, uh, Ohio State, how how tough is the atmosphere at Michigan compared to the rest of the league? Uh, I, I just think there's a lot of tough environments in this league. You know, there's a lot of them. So um, this is just another one of them. I think it's a unique league from that standpoint. Uh, you know, been uh, in the Big 12, SEC, and, and in the Big 10. And, um, I think uh, the Big 10 venues are as good as it gets. Coach, in the second half, uh, Zach Eman took it, went in there for Kamal Seymour. What went into that change, and what's the status of that position moving forward? Uh, just Kamal had a little injury. Is he already for this week? Yeah, no, we're not going to you know, talk about the, the injuries, but uh, he had a, an injury that came up in the game. Chris, is, is this game more important based on what happened last year, margin-wise? No, we we're not talking about last year. No, that, that's not even in our, our thoughts or our conversations. Uh, our focus is on our football team right now. Um, you know, we're not the same team as last year. They're not the same team as last year. I'm worried about this game, this team, and uh, their offense, their defense, their special teams, and, and, and our matchups this year. You know, last year is what it is, and uh, it was uh, not a good game. And, and uh, it happened. Can't change it. Not going to talk about it. Chris, um, 87 passing yards last week and 89 um, this past game, or vice versa, actually. Can you win games uh, consistently uh, rolling for 88 yards? At the end of the day, the offensive job, like I mentioned, is to put points on the board. There's going to be some games you can run the ball or have to uh, run the ball. There's going to be certain games you're going to have to pass the ball. Uh, there's no magic uh, formula that says, well, you got to rush for this number of yards or pass for this number of yards to win games. At the end of the day, the offense has to put points on the board. And how they do that doesn't really matter. Uh, would every coach like to say they have balance? Yeah, that'd be, that'd be cool to say you had that, but is that necessary? No, you got to do what, uh, one, uh, your offensive strengths are and what the defense uh, allows you to do or what they, they take away or what they give you. 
Uh, so, and that's all that really matters. Do we have to score more points? Yeah, that, that's what we need to do. How we do that, it's based on our personnel and, and, and the matchup of who we're playing uh, at the end of the day. To say we've got to pass for a certain number of yards, no, we don't have to do that. Um, to say we have to rush for a certain number of yards, no, we don't have to do that. We've got to do what our team and our, our players allow us to do. Um, that being said, are you satisfied with Gio's performance? Uh, I'm, not, I'm not satisfied with the, 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 it's not just Geo, I'm not satisfied with the overall offensive uh, production. You know, uh, again, uh, where we're at right now, like I just mentioned, we, we outscored our opponent uh, the last two weeks. Uh, job well done. That, that's what we need to do. Uh, do we want it to look better? Yeah, we, absolutely. We want to execute better. Uh, we need to run the ball better. We need to protect the quarterback better. We need to create separation at the wide receiver position better. We need to throw the ball better. You know, we got to do all those things better. Same thing on defense. We got to tackle better. We got to fit better. You know, we, we got to get better. Uh, but at the end of the day, the job is to score more points than the opponent, and, and we've done that the last two weeks. Any other questions, guys? Thanks. Coach. All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you.